friend told me about this accident in three separate states, and what can only be called an act of blatant political intimidation. Not only that, they have since been contacting and harassing activists in other states across the country, including here in California. And that is why it is crucially important that we are out here today to send a clear message that we will not be intimidated from organizing for justice and that we will not shrink from building a grassroots anti-war movement powerful enough to force Washington, D.C. to bring all the troops home. It's important to say that this is sort of intimidation from the FBI is nothing new. All capitalist states have their political police, and in the U.S. it is the FBI that performs this role. It is infamous for its COINTELPRO program, which spied upon and harassed hundreds of civil rights activists, most famously Martin Luther King Jr., and outright sure, assassinated sure. other leaders, such as Fred Hampton and very possibly Malcolm X. Yet despite its very long history of repression, the FBI has never succeeded in extinguishing the flame of social justice activists in the United States, and it will not succeed now either. The FBI has justified Friday's yeah. raids by saying it was investigating alleged connections between the targeted activists of and quote-unquote terrorist groups. But the real terrorism is that which is carried out on a daily basis by the U.S. military under the direction of politicians in Washington, D.C. For the past month and a half, Pakistan has been devastated by one of the worst humanitarian crises in its history. And what has the Obama administration done? It has continued its bloody campaign of missile strikes. This is to say nothing of the bombs that continue to rain down on the heads of innocent Afghans or the Iraqis whose society remains devastated from the U.S. invasion and ongoing occupation or Palestinians held captive in the world's largest open-air prison, Gaza, by an Israeli military funded and supplied by the U.S. Against this actual terrorism, we in the belly of the beast have a responsibility to organize a grassroots anti-war movement to bring all the troops home now. Your name again, sir. Your name. Jeremy Tully. All right. And your name? Thank you. Your name? I'm Jeff Macklin. Thank you. Our next speaker.